Hey everyone, Kelly Money here, the EP for Nanlite USA, and today we are going to talk about the behind the scenes of a cosmetic shoot. Jason decided to do two different shoots. One was something that was inspired by a red lipstick, so have a red hue to the entire thing. And then the other shoot was more film noir and dramatic and had more black and white emphasis for it because it was for mascara. So on to the mascara shoot. Who doesn't love some film noir? So the very first shot that you see in this piece actually really helps the probe lens shine. The probe lens that they use is actually something that it's a macro lens and you can get very close to the subject, but it's also wide. It's a 24 millimeter. So what's interesting about that is that it creates this different kind of visual where even though you're close up on something, you're seeing more of what's going around in the shot. So it's a really great thing to use when you're thinking about like foreground versus background. And with that in mind, Mark decided to take this plastic tube and be able to kind of almost make it feel like a tunnel by having a slider with the probe lens go through the tunnel, go through this tube and make it feel like we're like emerging from a tunnel and the mascara is being revealed. Uh, it was a really interesting way of using the probe lens and very creative. I actually got to play with this probe lens for the product shoot for the Pablo tubes. And uh, we did this quick little shot with uh, DPGG where we just had this macro but wide shot of her eye as it was being lit by these four Pablo tubes that we had mounted as a key light. Uh, and I really just love not only the effect that you see, but I also kind of love how you can actually see the Pava tubes reflected in her eyes. So since we have entered out of the red world and into the film noir world, Mark decided to use the Forza 500 with no reflector on it. And they actually panned it across the shot, like as they were emerging from this tunnel that they created and revealing the mascara. He also used the, uh, the Mix Panel 150 at only 5% just like as a little kicker in the back. So this next shot for the mascara is very similar to what we saw with the textured lipstick where we basically have the camera overhead on a slider with the probe lens panning across the texture and we just kind of timed it so that Michelle went through with the mascara brush just at the right time. But uh, for this shot Mark decided to use the Forza 500 with the Strip Bank softbox which he put at table level with the texture. And then also Pava Tube 30C in the front. And again, this mascara and everything is on a flat surface on a flat tabletop. So the next booty shot with Alex is something that's a little bit different, obviously, than the lipstick scene, which was more red and overly saturated. This is complete opposite. It's black and white, and it's very film noir oriented. We have the Forza 500 without a reflector, lighting through these Venetian blinds, creating this really hard light coming from a window kind of feel that you see in a lot of film noir movies. Good night, Johnny. He also used, of course, his 100 millimeter macro lens. So any shot that you see with Alex was actually shot with the, the 100. This next tight close-up of Alex's eye is very different. It doesn't have the Venetian blinds, but it also is actually more of a soft light. So Mark decided for this next beauty shot with Alex to use the Forza 500 with a parabolic 120. This created a much more soft and flattering light so that we can really take in just how beautiful the mascara looks on her. So this shot's a lot different than all the other shots because it's not black and white. It's actually the only shot that they decided to use some color and to use as, a, as basically a transition shot. So Mark basically put the mascara product on a turntable with a black plexiglass on it. And he lit this with the Mix Panel 60 and the Mix Panel 150 now. At first I thought maybe he actually used the hue loop effect, but he decided to basically do his slider motion with the probe lens and basically systematically redo the shot over and over again using a different hue each time. And then in post they created this effect. Now in this final beauty shot, he used the black plexi on a turntable again, and he put the product on there. And instead of it being color, we have the monochrome black and white aesthetic that we have for the rest of the piece. And he used the Mix Panel 60 and the Mix Panel 150 so that while the product was turning on the turntable, you could see it catching the different highlights as it turns. 
So those are the two cosmetic shoots that we got to go behind the scenes for. It's kind of incredible just the unlimited potential and creativity that you can do with different lighting setups. So we hope you enjoyed that. If you have any questions, please let us know in the comments below. And thank you so much. For